Hi, I'm Dana Jay, and this is Henry Ford Health System News. We bring you stories about how our team members are improving lives through excellence in the science and art of healthcare and healing. That mission statement was the lesson of the day for a set of interns you're about to meet from Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital. Are you helping people? Yes. yes. Does that improve people's lives? Yes, it does. These students are learning a lot more than the Henry Ford way. They're learning to find their own way. We're learning about the importance of a mission statement and what it means to have purpose because your mission is your purpose. My purpose is to um, make people smile and inspire them with my kind words. Carly Suris and five others make up this year's Project Search class at Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital. Project Search helps young people with significant disabilities get ready to get a job. My favorite part about, the pro about Project Search is um, the growing and the confidence that I've had. Over the course of a school year, they learn life skills in the classroom and practice those skills in internships around the hospital. I am Parker Reed, and I work in the surgical processing downstairs on G level. My name is Peter Sear, and I, I, I work in the kitchen. My name is Quill, I work in an octopi. My name is Madison, and I work in the greenhouse. And I'm gonna let you pick them, and I'll look for high ones, okay? Madison works alongside Chef Jerry Carpenter, tending the plants and harvesting vegetables for Henry's Cafe. Like those vegetables, she's flourishing. When she came to us, she was very bashful. Um, she didn't really say anything other than hello. Now you can hold a conversation with her. Over the past year, Chef Jerry has added seven Project Search graduates to his payroll. They come to work, they are enthusiastic, they do anything. It is something you can depend on in, in this uncertain world, and they, they're fantastic, they really are. Christina Trevette noticed Bria Washington's warmth and dedication and is hiring her full time as a lobby screener. This was an opportunity and I see that I could actually get in a healthcare setting that I would like to do. As volunteer services manager, Christina wanted to make sure Project Search continued during the pandemic. Not just because of the impact the program has on the students, but because of the impact the students have on the hospital. They have these talents that no one can really match in, in our workforce. Um, the ability to remember things in a way that other people can't. You know, the ability to sort things in a way that other people are not able to do. Henry Ford's all about diversity. And, you know, what better way of thinking about diversity than the different talents and personalities that these individuals bring into our hospital. So far, four out of the six Project Search students have jobs lined up after graduation, and I'm willing to bet the other two will soon have jobs as well. Now we're going to introduce you to Kevin Cole, an artist who says he once had trouble communicating, so he turned to art. You'll find one of his sculptures at the Brigitte Harris Cancer Pavilion. Mainly I got started with art uh, because I have a speech impediment, so my mom would always tell me to go make her a picture anytime I had a bad day at school. I think it, it affected me in a lot of ways because art was the way that I could, I could communicate, and that was the way for, for me. And, and my mom would, would always tell me, you have something special that everybody don't have. I have three assistants. We, we, we all came together when I was asked to do it, and they were like, well, what are you going to do? And they sent us the schematics of the wall. And we were like, oh my God, okay, this needs to be this. It's entitled Shared Visions with Shared Blessings. I used the process of mapping. When I found out that it was going to be a piece that large, I looked at where she was born, looked at where he was born on the map, okay? So then you have the, 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 the foundation become that, that flat part where the neckties and scarf shapes weave in, in and out of there, all right? And a lot of the scarf shapes have a lot of African patterns and symbols on top of them that mean faith, hope, strength, and love. Blue is Mart, her husband's favorite color. 
And so then you got swatches of green, which symbolize her, her idea of gardening. Then you got swatches of red. She, she, liked, uh, she, she liked the roses. I was told her favorite color was purple. So you have a little bit of that in there. Every tie, every scarf shape symbolized something. And the scarf shape represents the uh, strength of women. How, how women have been a major force in our life. And if you notice that there are more scarf shapes in that piece than necktie shapes. Well, I just appreciate the opportunity in doing a, doing a piece like this. For me, all my pieces have been about life, put together piece by piece. And to be in Detroit, where a center like this, which is really helping people, it's about therapy. And that's what my art has always been about for me. Cole's sculpture, called Shared Visions and Shared Blessings, is a tribute to our late great benefactors, Mort and Brigitte Harris. You may have heard that Mort passed in early May at the age of 101. Okay, let's go back to West Bloomfield. Here's one way our team got their steps in during the American Heart Association Heart Walk. Team West Bloomfield hit a three mile course around the hospital grounds. Henry Ford and Hap Walkers raised more than $267,000 to help save lives from heart disease and stroke blowing the system goal of $200,000 out of the water. Almost 700 team members participated, walking in small groups around Metro Detroit. Our featured photo this time around is of some of the fellows in the cardiology department at Henry Ford Hospital. They helped deliver food to families in Detroit so that they could enjoy their Ramadan Eid. A belated Eid Mubarak to all of our friends who celebrate. And if you have a celebration that you want to share with us, send us an email at newstips at hfhs.org. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.